Господа, я вас вновь приветствую на цитадели, на Сильвер что-то там стрип. В общем, только что закончил дрючить несчастную арену. Можно теперь осмотреться на остальной зоне и на самой цитадели. А после этого, наверное, на туман из Персея, потому что больше особо и делать-то нечего. Так, у нас тут где-то неподалеку офицер СБЦ. Должен быть где-то... Походу... На навере горячие точки. Да-да-да-да-да. So, Brunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Особенно про окна. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragnar encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is Zizek here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up. Everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> it's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, Officer. So... How were those noodles? A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. Да уж. Начало хорошее. Еще у нас дальше в каком-то замке Заид. Что там делает Заид? Не помню, где мы тут с ним пересекались. Если только он тоже на каком-то игровом автомате застрянет и предложит поиграть. Ой, не хотелось бы. Потому что игровые автоматы здесь такое себе. Ой, особенно вот этот. Я эту дрень как вспомню. Такая нудятина. Did you catch 
Стоп, вот за это. А это что за фигня? Штуки никогда не меняются. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Это про скилл мы... этого стража. Хорошая штука. По крайней мере, во второй части, особенно когда кулдауны становятся самостоятельными, ты чувствуешь себя просто гребаным терминатором. С этой броней. И с был. В самом наибольшем удовольствием проходил игру, наверное. Тут тоже забавная сцена будет. Какая-то разновидность. То ли шахмат, то ли морского боя, то ли все вместе. Пошаговая, короче, какая-то фигня тактическая. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. 
That was before you helped manage Intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. <laughs> Disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. Положение не очень. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here personally saved Grissom Academy. More than a dozen students owe her their lives. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Хрен поймешь, как это работает. На Харстоун немного похоже части. Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Так, и что там еще третье на карте было отмечено? А, ну да, продукты. Не, это мне не грозит. Я пока не хочу этим заниматься. Я хочу вернуться на основную цитадель и там поболтать со мной. Мы же все хотели. Осталось только понять, как вниз спуститься. Просто квесты сдать. Там Шебард не может разговаривать на расстоянии двух метров. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. I recovered the Book of Plenty's. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Естественно, бесценный. Я хотел что-то купить. А, это надо будет на этом терминале спектров. А так, у нас тут Лиара, как минимум. энергетически усилительно хочу найти так не находится сразу getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass <laughs> you're kidding i was very young oh boy yeah that's actually pretty cute no one else thought it was funny oh the lecture my mother gave me 
But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. <laughs> Ну, в общем, да. С ней или роман я не хочу подтверждать. Я пытаюсь заромантить Эшлину. Она пока не идет на контакт, зараза. Так. Огрудник. Нет, это не лишнее все. Еще в магазин для штумовой винтовки, а то я попробовал наемник, в принципе, хорошо себя показывает. Что-то я не вижу, где эта разговорчивая Азария. А то мне ведь ей надо отдать, по идее. А, ну да. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Ah, General, pofik. Stary General. Эту шутку никто не поймет, скорее всего, из тех, кто меня смотрит, во всяком случае. Как минимум, у меня яд для турианцев есть, который надо сдать. Что-то у меня FPS скачет. О, точно, Джейков же меня хотел видеть. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's uh <laughs> one more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepherd. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? Still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. You gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. 
все-таки не люблю я его. Честь из-за того, что именно он так резко переобувается в третьей части. Впрочем, разок как минимум он у меня умирал во время осады базы коллекционеров. Как сейчас помню, неправильно поставленный биотик, он вышел из-под купола и его утащили. Вопль тот еще. Ну, можно посмотреть всегда, у меня это сохранено. Е-бой! Yeah, последний левел свершилась! Господи, увеличить принимаемый урон при перегреве? Да как то Типа, когда они стреляют, они наносят себе урон? Или что? Или как? Э. Так что я пока был на арене, немножко поэкспериментировал с заморозкой и пришел к выводу, что, блин, оказывается, я зря ее не юзал. На чисто бронированных противников сначала кинуть заморозку, и они реально становятся гораздо более ватными. А поджиг после этого, если еще и с нужным морфом, может долбануть вообще только в путь. Так что, блин, я как-то жалею, что все это время игнорировал заморозку. Ну как, по крайней мере в этой игре. Вот в Андромеде, да, я и пользовался, но там, если правильно помню, был замораживающий луч только. Я в ПВП бегал как раз к классам, у которого был этот замораживающий луч. Прикольно было. What? But you loved that car. I know. You never shut up about that car. I know. Так, меня тут как минимум Кортес ждет, да. Надо уже с ним поговорить, чтобы он успокоился. Стоп, стоп, стоп. I've recovered some tech from a library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you in Bay D24 if that would help. Что-то Джокер иди куда-то пересели и не пойму куда. Я ж помню у них там. А, стоп, он они за столиком, кажется. Так, а ты кто? А, да. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. 
So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented this body to Jack, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. <laughs> I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. Oh, no. You just introduced me as your personal assistance mech. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. Your turn. Counselor Tavos. But points off for action. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. <coughs> Ew. Your turn. Counselor Tavos. <laughs> Не понимаю, к чему они там, то ли оценка какая-то, еще что-то. Ладно, осталось посольство, долг. И нам нужно еще встретиться, как минимум, с Явиком. Он как раз таки в посольство должен быть. Там ее можно развести на неплохой такой спич. Ой, блин, точно, Миранда меня еще ждет. И Самара, сколько народу меня засталось. Так, 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 Самара. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. <laughs> the code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Flair be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. 
I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. No, Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. Так, Миранда внутри спектровского офиса. Тому я уже КД отдавал вроде как. Так. Вот эту я хотел штучку купить. И да, все, герой я, наверное, уже и не куплю теперь. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I wanted to see you in person. It's better this way. The Citadel is a mess right now. It sounds like it. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. You'll find her. I know you will. Okay. I better get going. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Не помню. Вроде когда-то она должна была запросить доступ к каким-то информации, которую можно только с этого терминала дать. Поэтому непонятно. Почему мы не могли на Нормандии с ней связаться? Почему я должен был тащиться именно сюда? Так, тут никому ничего не надо. Остались доки, а и Явик точно. Тут ее можно развести на спич и повернуть это в одну или в другую сторону. Hell of a view, 
The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Unless we win this war, it'll be the last time any of us see the Citadel. Soak this in while you can, Javik. Do not be so dismissive, Commander. Someday the things you have lost will be the things you would kill to have back. Such as? Order. The rule of law. From here, our empire dictated the course of the galaxy. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Oh, damn. Hanak. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torius, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. <laughs> He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Вроде с его спича можно было там немножко потом военных ресурсов поиметь. Вроде. Но что-то как-то не начислилось. Так, доки. И здесь, в этих доках, Келли, наверное, уже нет. А, Заид. И Эшли внезапно. Что-то я забыл про Эшли. Shepard, thanks for coming. I wanted to be here for you, Ash. Okay, это было что-то новенькое. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it! There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about... You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but... There she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Честно, я не помню этого, этой сцены. Видимо, она только в романе появляется. Okay. 
Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Потому что я помню, мы с ней обычно просто общались на общине президиума за столиком. Либо это потом еще будет. Но вот этого, какой-то диалог с ее сестрой, этого я точно не помню. А, мы с ним общались, все, О, остался Джеймс, у которого тоже, наверное, ни хрена нет. Не, Келли еще тут. Что-то тут многовато зари. Mm -hmm. Так, ну, получается все. Самое главное тут было Сэшли. Все остальное ни о чем. Родной дом. что бывает, когда переводит вот привет в контексте. Чисто залетим на Вольперсы. Стоп, Гару, точно. Ты что же хотел со мной увидеться? Я и забыл. Shepard, glad you came. What you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So? I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? <laughs> you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. 
I just have to save your ass again. Did make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You've got a new scar every time I see you. Losing a step there in your old age? <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. Touché. <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. No. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> Помню, сколько раз я переигрывал эту сцену, когда его пытался романсить сто лет назад. Все, пытался выявить, хоть какая-то реакция может измениться. Но нет, вообще без разницы, кем ты сюда приходишь. Не удивлюсь, кстати, если на Нормандии всем будет пофиг. Тут вообще не удивлюсь. Угу. Кстати, да, костюмчик с арены. Единственное, что мне не нравится, это шлемак. Так, как его разорить или... Как кореанцы создали подобную технологию, неизвестная мечта. Сделали просто потому, что сделали. О, Ран, здорово. Я бы which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid Конечно, provoking death. A treaty violation is nothing is compared an... to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Короче, мы встретили всех, где Тали. 
Your home world? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we have... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Oh, the... Talizora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, I'll ready a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. Oh, damn. So I help them. I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. No, we to do it. Пообщаться с нашими новыми гостями побольше. Так, Тали и Адмирал Ран. Шепард, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Corus coordinates them. Though individual ships' captains still have power, in peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. 
You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se, just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Commander. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. 
I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and... And Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Урон оружием и технические умения, но тут даже выбирать не надо. Да, у него вот есть еще и защитный дрон. Непонятно, насколько, правда, секунд этот дрон должен существовать. Радиус всегда радиус. И поглощение энергии. Вообще классный скилл, который, увы, только у Тали есть по умолчанию. Единственная его отрицательная черта относительно перегрузки, что он вроде не умеет перескакивать с цели на цель. Зато он позволяет отлично восстанавливать щиты. Ну все, всех настроили. Время лезть в пасть. В данном случае жнеца. Только вот где он? 
явно не в этой системе. А, вот теперь только открылась вуаль. А что тут так много точек? Обломки гетов. Непонятно. А вот эмигрирующий флот, да. 50 тысяч кораблей. Странно. 17 миллионов кварианцев. А Тали, кажется, называла цифру 70 миллионов. Ну, по крайней мере, по субтитрам. Значит, где-то не стыковочка. Но мне хочется верить, что кварианцев хотя бы 70 миллионов. Хотя, с другой стороны, кораблей на 70 миллионов надо. Ё-моё. Гарус, наверное. Хотя Иди тоже была бы ни, 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 как не в тему. Так. Ну вот, да, наемник. А если сравнивать разоритель, он почти в два раза тяжелее и при этом по урону конечно в лучшую сторону идет и меткости. Гарус, возьми разоритель. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Mm -hmm. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. <laughs> Прикольно, у них диалог. Я точно не помню раньше, что был какой-то особый турецкий шоколад. Да, тут, конечно, миссия необычная, но все, что связано с этим гетто-турианским конфликтом, оно необычное. Потому что что? Нулевая гравитация. Немножко непривычно. Хотя в третьем дитспец примерно так же работало. Может, и в более ранних частях. Просто вроде полеты это именно в третьем появились в космосе полноценные. Там просто приземляешься в любую поверхность. 
Прикуряешься по ней. Эм. Дальше вроде почти не нужно ничего вращать так по прямой. Самое грустное, что вы патроны там у меня бронебойные, на гетов они не особо эффективны. А то можно попробовать пошалить с диверсией в какой-то веке. То, что всю остальную игру диверсия нахрен не нужна, как по мне. Это чисто дань первой части. Вот в первой части, да, когда оружие могло просто перегреться нахрен и не стрелять. Ты мог действительно навести суету для противников, как и они для тебя. Я помню, тут можно было найти пистолет или дробовик дуга. Очень классный. Естественно, по принципу дугового излучателя работающий. Что-то так подумал, а там точно в конце этого коридора ничего. Ну да, обрыв. Ладно. Что то с звуком? Почему нельзя было дать его мне перед миссией, а? Это да, для какого-нибудь биотика этот пистолет это просто мана небесная. Потому что у биотика самое главное это снять щиты с противника. Эм, что я, я пропустил? Черт побери, что я не так сделал? А. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the lethal command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. Better give them an edge in close combat, though. 
When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. было кто был слишком агрессивен почему все оборвалось на середине фразы defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Stop, stop, stop. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Oh, damn. Причем вроде бы эта винтовка все-таки здесь на термо... термоприпасах. Блин, за... Короче, жрет она пули, а не перегревается. Кстати, да, диверсии могут позволить охотников в ближнем бою такими развлекать. Ммм, Гаруста со снайперкой. Ау! Черт, я забыл, что они тут шахидят. Right, 
But how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkhead to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level plugs. <clears throat> we need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gas on the other side of the doors. Watch out, they're dropping in! There could be close hunters as well! Блин, тихой сапой, но если, конечно, нету ДП... Еса! Почему я не могу использовать умение? Твою мать! Да. Сколько у них тут диалогов? Вроде и раньше таскал вместе, но... Или я иди на это дело брал? Или я Вика? Не помню. Не, ну я, конечно, знаю, что они там друг дружкой могут заромантиться, если прям очень постараться. Ну, кстати, да, можно жрать пенициллин, но опыт все равно уже на максимуме. Тут веселое место. Нужно пробегать от точки к точке, пока вот эта вот волна. На них действует эта штука даже поверх. То есть я могу наложить этот переписывание или что оно там. Взлом. А потом все равно... Так, к 
Кыш, брысь, гав, мяу, мур, выбирай любое. Все-таки хорошо, когда в магазине аж 80. Его можно доджить? Не очень хвалезно для здоровья. Оу! Да сколько у вас тут еще? А! Мама! Да сколько у вас тут еще? царство за снайперком надо взять гадюку попробовать вместо пистолета и будь что будет хоть со сверхлегкими материалами надоело последнее время только и делаю что выцеливаю кого-нибудь о -о -о. блин это прикольно спрыгивает на тебя так этот такой подожди подумай подумай Опа. Конечно, да, у чистого инженера есть ответ практически на любой ситуевин. Который только может возникать в этой игре. Он тебя и зам поджарит, и заморозит, и обесточит, и перегрузит. Говорю, вот только щиты вытягивает не умеет. Еще. О, да. Оу, эта штука все-таки наносит урон. А я что-то думал, что нет, что это чисто EMP.
А. Тут напряженный момент, а я такой переписываюсь. Раймы — это бизнес. Сейчас просто рано или поздно припрется в упор Прайм, когда я его не вижу. И устроит мне веселую жизнь. Кто, блин, умеет ставить турели? Праймов есть турели. 
О. Прайм. Здрасте. Тали, у тебя же есть высосудие щитов. Соси у него, Тали, соси! там еще ой нас там много но блеск что здрасте так там в прайм в мою сторону двигался где-то Здрасте. Гуд. Гуд. Сколько вас тут еще осталось? Конечно, до такого Андромеди далеко. Сбежать из обстреливаемого корабля. Там буквально пара хороших миссий была на всю игру, и та со спутниками связана. В принципе, здесь в том или ином случае тоже. Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. 
We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. Biggest. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard? And Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military. You understand that. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect. <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using well, Legion like a signal to broadcast commands from, from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about it? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kayla, I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Ну да, мы же глухие, мы ни хрена не слышим, все должен я делать. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Статус пока что все еще где-то процентов хорошо, если 80. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ships' defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. 
Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Вроде тут еще была одна реплика сбоку, нет? Что-то я проморгал. Хотя... What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense. Мне больше нравится, кстати, легион из третьей части. Во вторую у него фара это вечно светило в глаза. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. <laughs> that must have been nice. <laughs> we'll talk later. We will remain here. Просто приходит один, говорит, вот так и так ему. А, ну да, надо, значит, тогда делай что-то другое. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Не помню, кстати, Тали, можно еще вызывать свою каюту будет, или это была разовая акция? They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Melon. Ah. Значит, ты еще живой. А, он на Омеге. Миранда. Нужно встретиться вообще не президиума. Явик. О, да, да, да. Это, это будет что-то. А вот Гарус. С ним я как-то не помню особо выпивку. Я знаю, что если ты в романе с ним женским персонажем, там будет интересно. А иначе... Вроде ничего особенного. Команда. Но как-то, блин, немножко это неправильно, что ли, может, что тут война идет непрерывная, а мы такие, слетая на цитадель. 
And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is that tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Ну вот, это мне на самом деле не очень нравится, но я понимаю, почему они так сделали. Commander. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. <laughs> Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. Сразу чекну каюту, пока не забыл. Не, нельзя. Ну ладно. Эшли все у себя. Хорошо. I heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Hey there. Joker, really? I have work to oh, do. Damn. Come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. I can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have You know he's gonna keep bothering you until you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Так, чтоб я знала, где этот Юнгис. Feel free to look around. Опа. Что-то я проморгал. Урон от умений или здоровья. Ну, тут даже загадывать не надо. Я не знаю, какой смысл вообще в третьем масочке качать здоровье, только если на низких сложностях, может быть. Ты тоже щиты всегда надежный. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The Genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. <laughs> Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. 
Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Ну хоть раз он сказал про калибровку. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. Another time, maybe. I can't believe Udina did that. Thank you for taking care of that situation. Ooh. I spoke to my brother, and he's fine. If it weren't for the Citadel broadcast, he wouldn't have even known it was happening. <laughs> Hello, Commander. Так, так. Что у нас осталось? Инженерная палуба. Хотя Тали вроде туда не перемещалась. Кстати, Алерус, давно я у нее не был. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The Resistance speaks out in the only place they can. The battle space. Huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garbuck story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Ну, одно интервью у нас не как минимум будет. Может даже два. Commander. Our grid is in the green. Commander. I couldn't believe it when Shepard told me you were on the Normandy. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth. Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't keep you. 
order. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? The creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. Short. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Блин, идея о том, что импланты берут контроль над человеком, на самом деле это, наверное, откуда-то они почерпнули разработчики, да? Потому что в киберпанке киберпсихоз все-таки был явлением неопознанным. Может, они еще, конечно, сделают DLC про это дело. Maybe, but he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. Even if what you say is true, Legion wants to destroy the Reapers as much as we do. Did you ever consider the Geth may be trying to eliminate the competition? With the Reapers gone, the galaxy will be theirs for the taking. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. The machine you call Ide. What if she sympathizes <laughs> with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the airlock, Commander? There is still time. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of a dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. I can do travel the hell. Just one more diagnostic suite. Вот реально, нахрена? Альянс не валюет с гетами совсем. Уже давно. За хрена. Hey Shepard, sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. Почему мы телепортировались? Sorry, I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but you sure we can trust it? Когда-нибудь я обязательно возьму тебя на это задание, Джеймс. Когда-нибудь. Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust him. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? <laughs> yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, sir. Что я не проморгал? Вроде нет. Я 
I just don't get the glory. I really just do not get them. Hey. Ну что ж, стало быть, все получается. В следующей серии буду делать все вспомогательные миссии перед тем, как завершить эту кварианскую гетскую кампанию. А я благодарю вас всех за просмотр. И до новых встреч. Всем пока.